They had run out and get mail, had notification that this was coming. Now this is something I bought off of eBay. And I have had these before. I had one I carried for years, but I lost. And I have uh, always felt that these were about as good as a lighter gets. So I was looking on eBay and I finally found one that is brand new, has never had fluid put in it. Uh, you know, and they're from like the 60s or maybe up into the 70s. But they quit making them. And it's funny, you know, because uh, this one I had exactly like this with the, the fishing fly in it, which is why I wanted this one. But they were sold uh, a lot of times as a promotional kind of thing. They had, you know, like your company could have their logo put on it or uh, <laughs> a lot of them came with, you know, like uh, uh, dirty pictures and dice and, you know, all kinds of gimmicky stuff inside of them. Uh, it was funny, in looking, I kept running into Raytheon ones. You know, I thought, yeah, <laughs> I don't think I need that. But I wanted one exactly like what I had. And to have one that's brand new, I mean, that was cool. Okay. The, the thing I like about these, you know, you fill them. And the fluid doesn't go up into the wick chamber. The wick chamber is up here. I don't know if it'll show. But there is a little this push button that allows the fluid to go up into the wick chamber. So small amount at a time. You know, it doesn't, the wick isn't hanging down in here. So these, you can fill them with fluid and this thing can sit around for years and it'll be fine. Oh, cat, don't need cat. Don't need cat. You know, it'll stay, the fluid will stay in there like a bick, you know, or uh, not a bick, but a, zip, a zippo, which I have, you know, they're gas guzzlers, not because you burn so much, it's because you lose it. You know, it just evaporates. They don't seal tight. These are sealed until you push that button and let fluid up. Now, I think part of the reason they quit making these is, you know, okay, if you're going to let fluid in, you have to, like I say, push the button, and then it'll bubble, and fluid goes in. <clears throat> but you are cautioned, you know, like when you're going to put fluid in, first push the button when it's standing like this, you know, up, to release any pressure that might be built up in the tank. Otherwise, if you carry it around in your pocket or if you are, let's say, in an airplane, a change of altitude, if you just flip this over without burping at first and push that button, she can squirt fluid all over, you know, because there's pressure in that tank. And I think that's why they quit making them. They probably got uh, lawsuits from people catching their hands on fire. But they are a very, a very nice lighter. It just that's you got to learn how to run them. You got to burp them first. Cat, they don't need you. Yeah, I was glad to find one again. You know, I do have one uh, just like this that I had found, but the seal is bad and it leaks, so it's only good for like four or five days depending on how it's tipped, you know. And the one thing about them, they are slippery. This is a loose site. So, like I say, you can lose them out of a shirt pocket or something. But I really, I do like them. I was, I was glad to find another one. Because like I say, for, for somebody who, you know, you want to have a lighter, but you don't use it enough, like a, like a, a Zippo, you got to keep fuel in them, and then all of a sudden you're going to use it, and you don't have fuel anymore. And, you know, it's just a, a constant headache, you know, like driving a big old Buick or something. You're constantly putting fuel in. These things, they'll stay fueled, and 
you always know how much you got. You know, it's not going to suddenly run out on you. You know how much is in that tank because you can see it. Oh, cat back again. Great little lighter, though, that you can count on. And, like, say, under, you know, this striker, you know, this part pulls up. And in that hole back there, you can carry an extra flint. So, you know, pretty self-contained. You know, the only thing you got to watch is if that seal fails in there. And I don't know that there's any way of getting them apart. There might be. I mean, I, I think there are people who repair them. Because that's the only place you have a failure is that darn seal there. But I'm sure the reason they quit making them was because of people, you know, pushing that button when there's pressure in them, then lighting it, and having a blazing inferno. I have done it. <laughs> so I know it can be done, and I know there is a caution in the literature with these not to do it. Yeah, I can't. I'm going to catch you on fire.